Hey, how's it going, everybody? I know a lot of us uh, in content creation uh, always strive for uh, some really good audio, especially trying to block out some background noises, uh, maybe even during uh, Zoom calls or interviews, uh, Discord calls during gaming. Uh, a lot of different background noises can happen. Keyboards, dogs barking, uh, people doing yard work outside, you know, all kinds of things can happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a program that will process the audio before it gets to your operating system and help uh, use the leverage of machine learning to block out everything else that's not uh, pretty much your voice. And what's cool about this is that you don't have to necessarily train it or tune it or tweak it, but you do have to set it up correctly. And that's what we're going to go over right now. So let's get into it. <clears throat> so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to sourceforge.net slash projects equalizer APO. Now the link will be in the description. So uh, you don't need to remember that, but we're going to need to download the equalizer APO from SourceForge. Now this is an open source uh, website that allows uh, open source projects to host their files on. Now, what Equalizer APO is, is it's not just a microphone um, audio processing software. It will also process the audio for your speakers and or headphones so that you can set an equalizer to how you prefer that sound to come out. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to be using it for um, processing our microphone audio. So we're going to go ahead and install this. The default um, location is perfectly fine. And once it's installed, it's going to pop up with this configurator window here. And um, what it's going to want is you to choose which device that you want to control. Now, like I said, you can use this to control your speakers or headphones which uh, is a cool thing. You can have a equalization on that and choose, uh, you know, more mids or highs or lows. Or if you want to get all into that and be an audiophile, you can go for it. But we're going to go over to the capture devices and choose the microphone. And then press OK. This is just telling you that you can change these settings at any point in time. And it is going to want you to reboot the computer, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Because <clears throat> like I said, this, uh, this captures your audio before it gets into Windows. And it, it processes it before it gets to your operating system. Now this does work on Mac and Linux as well. Um, a little bit different setup on Mac or Linux, but it works for all operating systems. Now, as you can see, I, I am setting this up in a virtual machine because I do already have it installed on my computer. Uh, and this is just a good way to be able to show people how to install things without having to uninstall them and reinstall them on your own PC. So now that we're booted back up, and we hit start, you can see in the upper left here in the recently added, we got the configuration editor and the configurator. That's just good to see because that tells us that it, it did install correctly and it's ready to go. So the next thing we're going to do is go back out on the internet. And we're going to go to, oh, we don't want to download that twice, that's fine. Now we're going to go to uh, github.com slash Wehrman slash noise suppression for voice slash releases. Like I said, these links will be in the description. And what you're going to want to download is Windows RN noise 64 bin dot zip. Just go ahead and click on that link there and click save. And as you can see, it does have a Linux option as well. 
um and the linux option also works for mac because they're pretty closely related so it is available for all uh, platforms so now that you do have uh, that downloaded we're going to go ahead and minimize the internet and go to your downloads folder and we're going to open up the noise the windows noise bin.64 and we're going to copy this bin folder go to this pc local disk program files and we're going to create a new folder in here and we're going to call it vsts capital vst and we'll go ahead and just paste that bin file in here and we will go ahead and give that permission and now that that bin file is in c program files vst we can go to the start menu and go ahead and click on the configurator editor um this is going to come up uh, quite a few times as you're setting up the equalizer apo it will say apo was not installed to device do you want to run the configurator application again to fix the problem go ahead and say no because it's going to say that for every single different audio device that you have on your system so unless you install apo on every single different audio device this prompt will always come up so just always say no that's the easiest uh, way to deal with that. Now, under here, what we're going to do, this is under our default configuration text. And because we're only going to be using this for our microphone and not for multiple devices, we're going to go ahead and add our configuration to this default configuration. But if you wanted to, to have multiple configurations, you can create a new file here and uh, have multiple configurations for all your audio devices. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit this add button right next to the number one. And we're going to add control to selected device. Now we can go ahead and choose our device here. And we can go ahead and choose what the we're going to go ahead and uncheck that we're going to um, choose our capture device that the apo is installed on which would be our microphone now that that is uh, set up this configuration page is going to be controlling uh, the microphone so now that we have that set up we can hit this plus button one more time next to this two and we can go ahead and go to plugins and vst and then it'll give us a little dialog box where we can choose where that vst is installed at so we'll go ahead and click that button and go to program files vsts bin RN noise, or actually we're going to go to the VST. This RN noise level 2 is for something else. We're going to go to VST and then lib RN noise VST. And go ahead and open. Now that that's open, it is automatically blocking out any noises that isn't what it perceives to be a human voice. So it'll block out animals uh, keyboards tools computer fans uh, ac fans all kinds of stuff but it should allow your voice through now the only catch to this is is sometimes it will allow uh, keyboard noises through or fan noises through while you're talking but they will be much reduced and uh, less noticeable by anybody listening and this is a uh, that's it that's how you set up uh, equalizer apo using the um, Warman libnoise um, vst that uses machine learning to block out background noises
And what's great about setting it up this way instead of directly inside of OBS or Streamlabs OBS is that uh, it'll work on every single platform that uh, you go on. Discord, Zoom, Skype, uh, any voice chat application, streaming, uh, anything that uses your microphone will now have automatic background noise removal. Thanks for checking out the video, and we'll see you on the next one.